God's people, the Israelites, decided that they wanted to be like other nations and have a person to rule over them as king. So God agreed to let them have their own way, and he chose a king for them. Samuel was now an old prophet. God would give him messages that he would then share with the people. God gave Samuel a sign to tell him who would be king. He told Samuel that a man from the tribe of Benjamin would come to him looking for some lost donkeys. The very next day, a man called Saul arrived, searching for some donkeys his father had lost. When Samuel saw Saul, God told him, that's the man I was telling you about. So Samuel invited Saul to come to a special sacrifice and feast and to spend the night as his guest. In the morning, Samuel spoke privately to Saul. He anointed Saul's head with oil and told him that God had chosen him to be Israel's king. When Samuel finished speaking, God's Holy Spirit changed Saul's heart. He felt different and made new inside. Later, Samuel called all the people of Israel together so he could tell them whom God had chosen as king. Saul started out as a very good king, but as time went on, he trusted God less and was disobedient because he wanted his own way. God told Saul to fight against the nation of Amalek. The Amalekite people were not interested in God or in living the way he knows is best. They were very cruel and evil people. Now they were going to be judged for their wickedness. God told Saul through Samuel that he was to completely wipe out the Amalekites. Nothing that belonged to the Amalekites was to be left. God blessed Saul and his army and did defeat the Amalekites. But Saul didn't obey God completely. He took the Amalekite king prisoner and he only killed the weak sheep and cows and kept the best ones for himself. God sent Samuel to Saul with another message. Because of his disobedience, he would no longer be king. Samuel asked Saul, why did you not obey God? I did obey, Saul replied. I only kept the best animals to offer to God, which wasn't really true. It is better to obey God than offer sacrifices, Samuel said. Disobeying God because you are too proud to do as you're told is wrong. And now God has decided that because you will not obey him, you won't be king anymore. Samuel never saw Saul again. Sadly, Saul was more interested in doing what he wanted than trusting that God's way was best. But one day, a new king would come, one who would never do anything wrong, one who would make it possible for us to be friends with God, who loves us and wants the very best for us. Jesus came back to life. We read about ways. Oh.